using cover crops as a nitrogen catch crop is not a new idea. In fact, um, back in 1884, in the Journal of Science, H.P. Uh, Armsby uh, has a, a very nice quote that I would like to read. So he noticed that back in uh, Rothamsted, the treatments that were manured were losing more nitrate to drain tiles. And he wrote that uh, there's a simple solution uh, and we should keep the soil occupied as fully and as long as possible with growing vegetation. And his quote continues, he says, keep growing roots present in the soil as long and as, as extensively as possible to seize upon the nitrogen and other elements as well, which will otherwise be washed out of the soil and to store it up in insoluble forms ready for the needs of future crops. Warm winters uh, are particularly bad for losing nitrate because mineralized end that forms outside the growing season is very susceptible to leaching. And the worst combination would be a warm, wet winter or a very wet early spring, which can move nitrate to tiles. So if we have a cover crop out there, an overwintering grass cover crop like cereal or rye, that's probably the best strategy to try and limit the amount of mineralized den that makes its way to tiles. And it's better to keep that nitrogen in the field, uh, hopefully uh, to be used by the subsequent row crop.